Okay, so hold on one second. I need to yeah. put these on. There we go. Okay, so I'm here with JR. Um, tell me, what was the most difficult shot or the most difficult part of making the film? I guess the fact that we didn't know where we were going with the film. Yeah. That, that the whole time that we were making the film, we actually didn't wrote a script, didn't know the goal. We just liked hanging together mm -hmm. and wanted to keep hanging together and yeah. create. And from that creation, we actually, you know, kept on going and kept on going, and uh, and it made the film. But. You know, when you think about it, yes, it was hard because it made everything hard. You can't, you can't get money, you can't get funds to do it. But it also gives that incredible freedom to create and like, you know, in the process and think about it and then, you know, and, and, and be really um, uh, in the improvisation. And th that's the luxury as an artist and we took it with Andy. Mm -hmm. Have you thought about the medium of 360 or virtual reality, which we're yes, watching this uh, right Yeah, now. I've done it quite quite a few times, but this is a pretty cool camera. Yeah, it's super small and tiny. <laughs> right? very, very close to I'm going to go check the room if the screen is good, yeah, but yeah. it was good to meet you. Yeah. And this movie is starting in five. Oh. And I'm also very grateful for our hosts for tonight, uh, Mark and Lynn Benioff. And I'd like to invite Mark to join me. And how's everybody doing tonight? Great. Great. Is everybody excited to be here? Yeah. 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 And we're in this gorgeous theater that George Lucas built to screen all his most amazing movies. And uh, tonight, I think we're going to see an amazing movie, um, one that's super inspiring about two amazing artists. And one of those artists we have here tonight. Yeah. Yeah. So he's here in town, he's working on a project. It's uh, very French, so we don't know what's going on. <laughs> so please Yay. give a big hand for our <laughs> uh, it's, it's amazing that this happened now because I spent a month here and I got to know the city. I got to know the people also of this city. And uh, I've, I've, I've been quite impressed, you know, I have to say, with the... What I thought I had, I, I didn't have a good vision of San Francisco before because I always come two days when it's foggy and when it's at the wrong time. And, and now it's like, it's like summer. It's the better weather than Los Angeles. I met amazing people. I saw naked people walking in the street and it's normal to everybody. And, you know, I, I had an amazing time and we shot with the Is that not team. how it is in other cities in the world? <laughs> no, somebody's naked and walking down the street. It, it, it makes the cover any... of a newspaper if that happens. <laughs> but here, that, that doesn't happen. What happens if somebody's going down the street? Where? In, in France? In, no, in San Francisco. Oh, in San Francisco, everybody's like, you know, they're still on their phone, they don't even see it. <laughs> I'm here with the whole team also, with who we shot the project the last month, so I'm excited also because some of, some of them, yeah, they can stand up. Whoever well, I mean, worked the on the team project... Stand up has been making this incredible project for the last month. Now I'm here. I see some that are not standing up there. And, uh, so what I, is this project that you're working oh on? Are you God, you ask me so many questions. I mean, it's going to be the size of these screens, but over 40 meters, so 120 feet long. And uh, it will be a, like, a, you know, here you have paintings of Diego Rivera. Yeah. And uh, they are at City College, they are a different place. He came here in 1940. Uh, so this is a version of Diego's work, but in black and white and moving images. So uh, now we can say that it's going to be shown at SF MoMA. In, uh, in a year from now or so, so keep it secret for now, but <laughs> yeah. it's in this room. And, uh, and we're still working on it the next two days, we're almost done, so it's been an incredible month. Very, very and it's also the, the end of a long process with this film uh, that I feel will follow me all my life, but uh, uh, it's special to show it now because I've met a lot of the people I've met here, have passed through the project that we're doing, and um, uh, have supported the project, and. And this, this has been very special. This is the kind of movie where, uh, you know, we started and we didn't know each other. And yes, I've never co-written, co-directed anything with anyone. We met on the Monday and on the Wednesday we started working together. Mm -hmm. Because we never had an idea of a film. So it was like, oh, let's do something, a one minute thing. What if, let's just do something. And then, and then we forgot about everything. We forgot about our uh, difference. We forgot about the problem of making a movie, because we were not making a movie. 
and uh, and now we talk every day. We, it, it's really hard for me to do this without her because normally we have a rule. We never do it with, without each other. Yeah. But we'll find a solution to that. Now, I, I heard she was in town. I saw some pictures oh, of her really? around town. And <laughs> I saw a picture of her yesterday with Justin Trudeau. Oh, really? I did she I, leave town? Or I mean, she you know, she got connection to people I don't have, so I don't know how that happened. <laughs> About it after with all of you. I wish you a great screening. Good. Thank you. So have you talked with her about uh, what she'll wear to the Oscars? Uh, I mean, you know, it depends if she comes on a cardboard or <laughs> a real person. But uh, we haven't, we haven't fixed you, that you yet. You haven't discussed that yeah. yet. Okay. <laughs> All right. Okay. Um, I one of the things I'm fascinated about is your truck, and we see the people going in to do their photographs. You know, to have their photographs taken as a photo booth, yeah. but. What else is inside? <laughs> you know, it's it's actually each time you take the photo, there's some people drawing the photo in there and then pushing it through the little fence because we haven't found the technology to actually print. So we're not only in San Francisco, uh, we heard that there's some printers here that 